Welcome to the third video demonstration for Easy Complete. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to map the fields from the forms that you connected here to Easy Complete to the fields that you customize here in Easy Complete. Now, to select, all you do is highlight the, um, the name of the form that you want to select and map. Then you click this button here that says Open Selected Form for Mapping. I'll just click that. And I want you to notice that this is open in Adobe Reader right now and also that there is security on this form. Um, I'll scroll down a bit so you can see the field names and go to edit easy complete mapping on and just wait till you see these squares these colored squares that appear around all of the fields. Now I can select a field that's what it looks like when I select it this is last name so I'll go back to easy complete and map selected field. Right here it says the name of the selected field is text 24. That's the name of the selected field on this form. That's what they called it. Your field name, you see the drop down. These are all your customized names from Easy Complete. I'll select last name. I'll click map. I'll go to my next field, which is first name. I'll go back here, Easy Complete map selected field I'll find the first name field and I'll map that now I'll go back here to edit easy complete I'm gonna turn mapping off wait till those boxes disappear then I'll click this save icon right here I want to save my changes and then I'll close the form and I'll open another one I'm not gonna say too much I'm just gonna map it I don't want to take up uh, make this video too long here but here's another form which I will turn mapping on and the more fields you have the longer it takes but there's your fields I'll select this one uh, map selected field you'll notice here that these fields have numbers after them all that is, is those are the numbers the field number in Easy Complete. So this one is title one, or title actually, we'll map that. Last name. And I'll map the postal code and then I'll be done for, uh, for now. zip code we called it map I'll continue that and I'll map all these fields that we have then I will turn off the mapping save the form close the form and that's it for this video in the next one I'll we'll get to the good part how to populate these forms with one mouse click. Um, thank you for watching.